is CNN. Okay, so we all have to be on the same page about this, okay? If our fighting men and women are being hunted for bounties in Afghanistan, bounties paid by Russia, we need our government to step up and protect them now because they protect us. We owe them that. Our friend PJ Rykoff is here to help us take this conversation out of Washington and remember why we should care. It's not about a gotcha contest. It's about taking care of our fighting men and women. PJ, brother, I love you. I want to read your tweet. I'm so sick and tired of politicians talking. This is who he is. They knew it. They all knew it from both parties. And now they're outraged because U.S. troops are involved. Uh, let's take that idea. Why both sides? Well, because the American national security has is, is never been at greater risk in our lifetime right now, Chris. We, we knew what Donald Trump was all about. He, he said what he was going to do. He continued to do it. He weakens our national security over and over again, whether it, it's, it's pulling out uh, and abandoning the Kurds or moving money from the Pentagon down to the wall over and over again. Uh, he continues to erode our national security. And anybody who isn't trying to remove him from power, anyone who isn't trying to control him or block him or stop him from endangering our national security is at fault here. I mean, I'm tired of hearing the politicians talk about how they're outraged, how, how they're angry. They need to take action. What are they going to do to control the president? They may have known that the Russians were paying to kill Americans and did nothing. There's, there's no lower point in his presidency at this point, and it can get worse. Every day that he is out of control, Control, more of our troops are in danger, more of our national security is risk. And it's not just the, the American, American troops public. are in danger here, Chris. It's every single Americans. Our people are sick, our economy is shattered, our military morale is down, and it's his fault. At what point is anyone going to hold him accountable? What can the Democrats do that they have not done? You know, drop more articles of impeachment. You try to get him out of office. Try to jam him up. I don't know, to be honest with you, Chris. I'm not an expert here, but they should do everything possible to ensure that no more American troops exactly. are killed because the Russians are putting bounties on them. Trump Drag Donald Trump fascist. in whatever legal, peaceful way possible in front of the American people and make him answer to these questions. And not just him. Secretary of Defense Trump. Esper is mocked in the Pentagon at this point. They call him Yesper because everything that Donald Trump wants, Secretary of Defense Esper does. When did he know? What did he know? Why didn't he do anything? I mean, how low does it have to go, Chris, before the American people wake up and understand all our politicians have failed us, and this guy is running our country into a ditch, and our national yep. security is at grave risk, and it can get worse. Don't if you Trump. think it can't get worse, just remember, there are nukes. This guy has the capacity to fire nukes. That's how high the stakes are. They've never been higher, Chris. And I'm just shocked. The only thing I'm shocked about is that more people aren't doing anything to try to, to, try to take some action Precisely. to solve this problem. Uh, how confident are you that the bounty story is true? I mean, we just had Spanberger on. She's like, you know, look, I don't know right now, but I want to know more about it. Um, now we're hearing from the AP that, they, that Bolton briefed them about this in March of last year. I mean, could this be something that they know is out there, but they've never proven? Maybe, but why doesn't the president shoot it down? Why doesn't he say he won't tolerate bounties? Why doesn't he say that this won't be acceptable? Why yep. doesn't he say that there'll be consequences for paying people Precisely. to kill Americans? I mean, th this all smells bad, and it's on the backs of, of continued Iraq, attacks. Please, the the Russians. Castle. People say the Russians meddled in our elections, Chris. They attacked our elections every day that Donald Trump is in power, every day the coronavirus kills more people, every day our military morale goes down. Our enemies celebrate. Our enemies all around the world are celebrating every day that Donald Trump Terrible. is a derelict commander in chief. The stakes Terrible couldn't be any higher. Us. And it's not just one thing, Chris. Don't it's a continuum. We know who he is. We know what he's going to do. The question is, how much damage can he do before November? Or let's say Biden wins. It could be January before Biden's in power. How much more damage could Donald Trump do to our national security between now and then? It's, it's terrifying. You don't think that uh, the presumption that he gets the military vote still stands true? No. I mean, it was three and a half years ago, Chris, that he attacked John McCain, right? I mean, the, the Gold Star family attacks 
were years ago. I mean, he, he dragged uh, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Milley, and Secretary of Defense out to the church for the crazy Bible stunt. I mean, and now he's pulling troops out of Germany, okay? He's pulling them out of Germany, which only benefits Russia. About 10,000 troops are now being yanked out of Germany, despite opposition from both parties. Don't day Trump. after day, he continues to disrespect and demoralize our military. This Remove is far Trump beyond from party. Office. It's about patriotism first. Party is long past important. The Angry American is the podcast that PJ does. The tagline is, if you're not angry, you're not paying attention. PJ yep. Rykoff, I love you for your patriotism Skinny Bobby. and passion. Thank you for bringing it to us tonight. Love you back, man. It's never been more true than now. Tell the truth. Our special guest tonight, we got Chuck D. Now, I've been wondering the role that the artist would play in this social movement. Well, yeah, but man, public enemy, Chuck D. He's often provided a metaphor for change. You tell the truth. He's just added a new song to the conversation. Fuck Chuck yeah. D, here with what he wrote and why he wrote it. Next.